okay. inside the box. Let's go this take a look. This one just started. And, uh, so you've been working on this for a long time? Uh, well, I, I made 18 boxes in the last three years. And uh, I've had uh, the other boxes, I've had two birds, chickadees, and wrens. And I got some along the Washington golf course, along the bike trail there. I got one down in Hartman Reserve Nature Center in the Cary. And I put four of them up here. Okay. And I just put these up this year. Okay, you'll be able to see. see the... Now there might be a bird in here, I'm not sure. There could be. No, there is not. And there's no eggs. A blue bird will have all grass on the bottom of the nest. A chickadee will build it up with about an inch of moss and other grassy stuff. And wrens will be all, all sticks. Uh, but this is a bluebird nest that started. And there's one started on that box we just came from, so. How do you know which one is which? Obviously, they don't read signs. If you put signs, they wouldn't know. How do I know the, which box is which? Yes, yes. Well, this is the first box we put in. I call that box number one, number two, number three, number four. There's four of them here. This box here has got a nest up into about that high inside. The one over there is just apparently just starting a nest. Uh -huh. but and it might be the same bluebird, so I don't know. Okay, uh, but my question is how do you know which one is a bluebird, uh, bluebird and which one is a wren? Okay, the bluebird nest is all grass. Oh, so, 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 so they get attracted to the all nature, I see. No, they put that in there. A black yeah. crap. They Black breed ch everywhere. Cap chickadee will put all moss down here first and then put a little grass and some feathers. Wrens are nothing but sticks. So that's how you know which yeah, one is which. Yeah. I see. And, and can you tell me what prompted you to do that? Why did you decide to do that? I'm sorry, what? Why did, why did you decide to do that? I took down the fence and I had all this lumber from it. These are cedar one by five inch cedar about I had 20 some uh, pickets and I didn't know what to do with them I didn't want to destroy the wood and I thought about building some bluebird boxes and uh, just uh, not fancy or anything but I just went and did my own uh, design and uh, and they've worked well every box I put out in the last three years have been occupied either by bluebirds wrens or black cap chickadees wow you're not charging any rent no <laughs> yep. yeah and it's especially especially and the thing is a location location like any housing development <laughs> and i thought this prairie would be a good area you want to have some some trees very close by that the bird comes and they land and poach up and then come to the box mm -hmm. so that helps too yeah and you're obviously uh, bringing this live here for all of us to enjoy. Um, do you uh, do you sometimes wait for them uh, to see where they are uh, as they no, come in? No, not worry, but if they are. Roger, tell them what we got at home. Yeah. We have. Tell me what you have at home. She oh. says. We have sixteen birdhouses and six. Bird baths. Bird baths. Six bird baths. And then what do we... What well, do we just a lot of feed. And, we yeah. feed the birds all winter long, suet and different things. And uh, How did you become such a bird guy? Uh, I don't know. Just something I just... Um, I, well, one thing, we belong to the Audubon Society here at Perry Rapids Audubon Society. Mm -hmm. And uh, started attending their meetings and uh, just... When I moved to Iowa 22 years ago, I met him and... The first time he went to his house, he had a, a, a bird house and he had a bird bath. And I came from Washington State. I never had a bird bath, or a, and so um, I tried to, you know, learn more about it. And so uh, we'll have been married 20 years now in July, and so through the, all these those years, that's what we've 
You, you know what, what I'm finding out as a journalist? The story is never just a story that you see. There is always a backstory. Yeah. And the backstory is the love story. He obviously yeah. fascinated you with, yes, with yes. the story in, yeah, in, of the birds, right? Yes, yes, yes. And we have a bird book. And we also do uh, uh, the wildflowers, woodland wildflowers. What do you guys make of the new reality that we all live in in COVID-19? We have to be apart. Clearly, I'm very, very much six feet apart from you as I'm talking to you. Yes, yes, yes. Well, what do you make I, of it? It's something that was unexpected. That's for sure. It sure changed everybody's lifestyle. I think it's going to be an opportunity where people, instead of gathering that big social, are going to have an opportunity for more people to get outside and get on bikes, um, running, uh, outdoor activities a little bit more. I, I think you'll see a growth in that part of it. Uh, and enjoying the birds like you are making yes. sure we all do. Yeah. Like we came out here and see a bunch of quite a few people out kayaking, fishing. And, uh, we, we kayak and cross country ski in the winter. Um, <laughs> That's wonderful. And I have Roger and what's your name? Debbie. Debbie, mm -hmm. thank you so much for talking to Waverly Paper. I so much appreciate it.